Is here's home to homesteader with a pas de la Eden La Granja. A little bit of an update on some of the construction projects going on on the remodeling. Uh, in the kitchen, there's, well, really throughout the house, there's a bunch of custom made trim. And as I mentioned a little bit in the uh, redoing the, refinishing the hardwood floor section, I built in a little bit of a cabinet to go over place in the floor where they used to have a built in cabinet. Now, here's, uh, I got the maple uh, sanded plywood and I had them rip it there at the Home Depot. Uh, those are gonna be the sidewalls there. These are gonna be three of the shelves. I had them cut in part so it fit in the farm Prius, but uh, I was gonna use some one by twos and one by threes to uh, frame it out and put a finished trim on it. Plus I'm gonna do a lot of trim work in the house. But uh, most of the one by twos and one by threes that I could find have been really poor quality. And so, uh, actually what I decided to use was some 2x4 studs. I picked through and got the ones that looked better on the outside. They were actually about the same price as the 1x2s and 1x3s I found these days. And uh, I'm going to trim them down like this with the table saw. So what I did some calculations and figured out approximately how much. And uh, I'm going to use this here table saw. It's a pretty nice craftsman table saw. I set the, ga the gate, the fence up until I thought I had it approximately. I practiced with a couple short pieces until I got down to what will make me approximately, it's going to be uh, one by two more or less. It's right around, uh, if I recall, 13, 16 inches wide and it's going to be coming off the thinner side of the two by four. So as you can see, this will strip down into four of these. And that's what I decided to do for the trim around the outside of that cabinet I'm gonna build. I bought the maple because I was really hoping for maybe red oak or uh, if it was cheaper, a little finished pine, sanded pine plywood. Uh, there wasn't that big of a difference. The sanded pine that I found was actually thinner than that there three quarter inch. Uh, I guess I call it cabinet grade plywood. The reason I got maple over the red oak was there were enough sheets for how many I knew I needed. Uh, plus, as a result of going through it with the guy, I also found one of the sheets had some messed up stuff on it and had been set aside on the red oak side uh, pile. And the guy's like, well, I'm gonna put that in the call pile. So I actually bought an extra sheet of plywood because it was a call and my work around the bad spots in it as I do some cabinet work. But uh, today, like I said, I'm gonna cut a few. I got these two by fours over here. Like I said, I picked through. Uh, I got probably, I was gonna make three boards out of each one. I got it down to where I'm gonna make four with my trim. So I'll probably have some extra two by fours. Like I said, one of these two by fours was about the same cost as a one by two uh, and I'm gonna get four out of them and then I also bought some full 96 inch long ones to go along the side now I will only have to use one of those two which works out because I got some other trim projects one that I'm getting started on this morning is uh, putting some backsplash in behind the stove and uh, did kind of work out lining up straight so I'm gonna go in in just a minute after I cut a couple more pieces of these. Oh, I wanted to cover some safety tips. Gonna have my hearing protection on. Also, uh, when I got it down to about what I wanted, I made this guide stick huh, for my one bag guide uh, for the fence. And so I made that. So if I have to, when I have to move my table saw to do some other work, I have a guide I can put in there and I can line it up and I'm gonna be very close every time. As you can see, it's made out of a little scrap wood. Also, I made a push stick. So when I get down to the end here and my fingers are getting close, I got this, as you can see, I already got one cross cut in it where I've been using it to push the wood through instead of the old Homer way was to use his fingers and it was a bit dangerous. So I've learned to use some guide sticks and some other safety tips as I got older. 
be sure to protect your ears and your fingers. Just so you like a little update on the property. Uh, I'm making moldings today. I'll go through how I cut one down, custom made for the kitchen here in a bit. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. They may like our antics and adventures too. It's all your leg update on the property.